Hello everyone and welcome. I am Christy, aka Plant Based Christy. And I'm Lisa Manzo, holistic nutritionist and owner of uh, Pure Energy Wellness Loss. And today, Lisa, tell us what, what we're going to be making. We are making really simple, healthy breakfast egg muffins. It's really exciting. We have three different recipes with three a variety of different ingredients for you to choose from, and we're super excited. All right, so we'll be right back. This is Real Food Live. Welcome back to Real Food Live. We are here, we're talking breakfast stuff. Yes. Lisa's gonna show us how to make these uh, egg cup situations, yeah. egg muffins. Yeah, things. they're really, really simple. You get to use your muffin tin. So crack, mix, and pour in the muffin tin. Finally worth having a muffin tin for. And yes. as I am a vegan, I don't eat eggs, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about egg alternatives. So whether you choose not to eat them or you've got an egg yep. allergy, there's a ton of other things you can do to uh, use egg-like substitutes. Yeah, yeah. okay, totally. so why don't you get started? If you guys yes. have questions, send them in. Questions for me, for Lisa, for the team, questions about the recipe, we yes. are here. That's the whole point of this being live. Send us your questions. Absolutely, and while I'm cracking my eggs, I really wanna talk a little bit about breakfast and how important it is. I know you've all have been probably perpetually told as a child by your mother or whomever that breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day and there's so much validity in that because it is and why is because it keeps us fueled and energized and it also sustains us mentally and physically for the day it's also shown and proven that you'll consume fewer calories throughout the day if you have a really substantial breakfast but also the right calories is what you want to be consuming throughout the day Right, not just okay. like a bowl of sugar exactly. cereal, that may not help. And that's yeah. it, if you have a really fueling breakfast in the morning, you're not going to take that trip to your, you know, your local coffee shop to get the high sugar um, breakfast that your body craves at that time if you're not having a good breakfast, okay? So breakfast is really, really important, guys. I know that most of us are on the run when it comes to breakfast and we're rushing out the door, but what's key is to make something that could rush out the door with you, and that's what we're doing today something that is completely portable, mm -hmm. healthy, nutritious, tasty, and simple. Simple, you can make these ahead of time and freeze them, they freeze fantastic. If you keep them in an airtight concealer, they will last up to a month. If they, if they don't last long in your um, fridge, they don't in mine, um, <laughs> they will last up to a week in your fridge. Okay. So super easy to make, and like I said, you can make them ahead of time. So, I think that's a really good point, the idea of making things ahead of time, because yes. I know personally I struggle with breakfast stuff because I'm so tired in the mornings, and I usually sleep into the last possible second. Before you so hit it's the road. very hard to like <laughs> motivate myself to get up and then start making a big healthy breakfast. But if I can grab something from the fridge or freezer that's awesome that's awesome and I think most people share in that as well as, yeah. as well as myself everything's all about fast things so just so you guys know I'm using for each of the recipes that we're gonna be showing you today I'm using six eggs except for the kale and spinach I use eight eggs only because kale and spinach kind of soak up a lot of the eggs so we need a little bit more so that it's it's more liquefied will they shrink a little bit too while they're cooking or um, not as much not, in the oven not as much in the oven at all okay. No. So I'm just cracking these. Um, these ones right here. So when we're, we'll, we'll start with the kale and spinach ones. Ooh. And you always have to break one egg. An while egg you're, broke. While you're cooking. Always. This is the magic of a live right? video. <laughs> Oops. It rolled off. So we're down to seven, which is totally fine. <laughs> you can be flexible. We it's fine. You can be fine. flexible. Exactly. And you know, this option obviously here is dairy free. Um, if you wanted to add a little bit more uh, liquid or make it a little bit more creamier, you could also add coconut milk to it um, to make it, to give it that little bit of a creamier mm -hmm. uh, texture. That's totally like fine. Silkier taste. Yeah, exactly. So in this instance, eggs are being used as the bits. They're like the main thing that's being eaten and everything else is being added to it. Exactly, and they are yeah. a protein. Right. We need our protein to stay full, okay? Yeah. So if 
I was going to make something along these lines, which I love, the idea of a savory breakfast cup. I think we've talked about this before. Yes. I love savory yes. at breakfast. Uh, I would probably use something like a non-GMO organic tofu. And you can make tofu scrambles really easily with extra firm tofu, just crumbling it up. You can also use silken tofu, which is almost like a liquidy egg-like uh, texture and consistency. Definitely. And yeah. they bake up really nicely too. So that's one of my favorite things to use. You can use something called black salt, which has an sort Ooh. of an eggy smell. It's very sulfurous. Ooh, uh, yeah, good. you definitely wouldn't know. Uh, if you weren't expecting it, you might not want it. But to uh -huh. add a bit of that sort of eggy yep. flavor for people who remember it but can't have it anymore or choose not to, it's a really fun way to sort of mimic eggs. Amazing. Yeah. So those are great options yeah. for vegans. Um, so in each of the egg mixtures, I'm going to put some salt, so about a tablespoon of salt. Sorry, a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt. We don't want to do that to you. Even though salt... Too much salt. Even though salt is fantastic, a lot of people will um, shy away from salt. High quality sea salt is a mineral, so we do still need salt in our body. Mm -hmm. It's just about balance and moderation, okay? So we do need some salt in our diet. We don't want to cut it out completely. So. I'm going to mix the eggs up here with the salt and the pepper. And it's one teaspoon of pepper as well here. Woo! You like that sound? Yeah, it's very oh, soothing. So breakfast-ish. So breakfast-ish. So there you go. We'll mix it up here. And I'm, I just like to mix all of the eggs in separate bowls so it's easier. Yeah. And you're just throwing in your ingredients. Really easy, fast, simple. So send us your questions, guys. Send us any comments. What do you guys have for breakfast? What do you love? Do you find it really hard to have breakfast in the morning? Mm -hmm. Is it something that you struggle with as, as well as Christy and I? Let us yeah. know. We want to know. I know for me, the idea of a smoothie in the breakfast is in the breakfast, in the morning for breakfast is always very appealing. But similarly, yes. even that, it doesn't take a lot of time, but psychologically, it can be a lot to muster yeah, in myself. Yeah, throw it all in. But you know yeah. what? Also with smoothies, I love, love smoothies in the summer, but as soon as it hit fall in the winter, my body doesn't want anything cold. I mm. want this warm, comforting kind of food. Totally. You know? I usually try to transition to oatmeal at some point oh, in the fall or winter. Mm. You could also add oatmeal to these. You can even make a sweet, Interesting. healthy breakfast muffin. So egg with oatmeal and then some cinnamon, some raisins, some nuts. That's great. Yes. Uh, Esme says, or yeah. Esma, how do we say your name? Tell us. Love that you're making a portable breakfast will definitely come in handy. Definitely. That's totally right. So we're going to start with our kale and spinach. So we have one shallot chopped, okay? Mm. Throw that in there. It's all about just tossing it all in. That yeah. shallot smells so good too. I love too. shallots. Ugh. Such a good taste. And this one here is a cup of mushrooms. Amazing. And then a cup of spinach, which I'm going to cut, and a cup of kale. So I'm going to just dice this all up here. You just want it like more bite size? Just bite size so that, you know, the spinach and the kale is kind of nicely... Um, like can, just get incorporated. Yeah. Incorporate. Yeah. So each muffin has enough spinach and kale and, and you're not getting a huge kale bite or a huge spinach bite in one muffin. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it doesn't have to be anything precise, just like rough chop, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's all about quick and fast. So mm. I love so remember, spinach. I love spinach. So remember in this one, there are eight eggs. Okay. Yes. I cracked one. So there are seven <laughs> technically, but if you don't crack one, there'll be uh, eight. Okay. Yeah. So just cutting it up here. And so. the nice thing about this recipe is we're showing you three different versions, but it's obviously very versatile. So yes. whether you're using eggs or you use an egg alternative, you can sort of use whatever toppings you want in it. Definitely. Yeah. And you, like I said, you can get creative and you could make sweet sweet muffin cups if you wanted to. And that, Guys, this is not just for breakfast either. It is a mm. great snack. And I'm telling you, if you have any toddlers at home like I do... It is fantastic kid-friendly snack or breakfast as well. So they can also be eating it on the go with you. Amazing. Right? Okay. That's what we want. So we're going to mix it up here. Simple, simple, simple. So once the eggs are already mixed through, it's really easy to kind of mix the rest of the ingredients. Um, again, you could always cut the kale and the spinach even, um, you know, finer if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Like dice them up just really dice tiny. Them really yeah. tiny. Again, if you have time, I usually do everything just a rough chop. Sandra's asking how long these will last if you freeze them. Great question. They'll actually last in an airtight container for a month. It's a long 
time. It's a long you can make time. Thirty of these and have a, a month batch. full of breakfast. And see what we're doing here. We have three on the go. You can do that if you have enough muffin trays, right? Yeah. Um, otherwise, you're waiting, which is fine too. But it's definitely worthwhile having a few trays there. So I'm gonna leave that there. All right. Okay. Move on to our Move next. Move on to our next. So the next one we're gonna do is actually one of my favorites. Um, and it's broccoli and cheddar, but because we're dairy free, instead of cheddar, I do use nutritional yeast. Yay, the vegan's best I'm, friend, I'm nutritional really, yeast. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I thought of you when I was creating this. Why don't you explain what it is, in case anyone doesn't know. Sure, nutritional yeast is basically deactivated yeast. Um, what's great about nutritional yeast is it's a complete protein, mm -hmm. and it is so nutrient dense and high in B vitamins, uh, specifically B12. And a lot of us lack B12. Mm -hmm. We all know B12 is for energy. So why not energize your breakfast with nutritional yeast? It's also just got the best sort of nutty flavor. Cheesy, yeah. Nutty, cheesy flavor. You'll see that a lot of vegan re recipes actually call for this in their, you know, vegan mac and cheese. Yeah, or, or like cheesy sauces. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. I make that for my daughter. So like little cheesy. So I actually make them in the mm. muffin tins as well. Interesting. And, and they're cauliflower cheese cups. I'm intrigued. We may have to make those on a future broadcast <laughs> because that it. sounds delicious. Let us know if you want that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Nutritional so, yeast is also colloquially yes. referred to as nooch in a lot of yes, communities. If you ever see or hear that, that's what this is. It's the best. Gloria also sent in a message saying that she made pancakes Ooh. using only bananas and eggs and blended them up oh. and then fried them. Oh, wow. That's a really good, healthy uh, version. Good. I've done a version like of that. that with bananas and oat flour and chia seeds. Okay. So chia and flax are also yes. great egg alternatives as binders. Yes, so if you're yes. not using it as a base, it's more in baking. Definitely. Grind them up, a make of, a little flax yeah, egg. Flax egg. Yeah. I do a lot of flax eggs in, in a lot of my stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Look, guys, simple, easy. Eggs, broccoli some yellow sweet onion, about a quarter cup, mm. and some nutritional yeast. Okay, don't worry if the nutritional yeast clumps a little bit, it's totally fine. Great, great, great. Yeah. Okay, two down, one so to go. We got two down, one to go, you got it. Okay, you. so this one here is a little Italian inspired, I call it pomodoro. So, ooh, ooh I like it. So we have fresh tomatoes, remember tomatoes are in season, really juicy, really red. So I'm gonna take yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is about half a tomato right here. Okay. okay. So half a big tomato. Half a nice big tomato here. Great. Um, so we're gonna plop that in here. Okay, we have two garlic cloves chopped up. You could also mm. mince this if you wanted to as well, which will bring out the flavors even more in the garlic. Amazing. And then one cup of cooked quinoa right here. So remember, quinoa again is a complete protein once mixed with the egg. Okay. okay it's not a complete Beauty. protein on its own, but once mixed with the protein it is. Uh, Anne is asking where you can buy nutritional yeast. Good question. I, um, I know I've mentioned this brand quite often, but Bob's Red Mill uh, has a great nutritional yeast. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you can, can find that at like a lot of grocery stores Local now grocery if you're in stores. bigger cities. Yes. All health food stores will have nutritional yeast. Definitely. Just go straight up to the first person you see working and say, point me in the direction of nutritional, nutritional yeast. yeast. You can also buy it online. So if you're living in a really small oh. town or you don't have access to certain health foods, we are living in the golden age of yes. being able to order food order to your line. home. Good yeah. yeah. And you know where else they sell it? Um, bulk barn. They also sell at bulk barn. So if you have a local bulk farm by you, you I can was, definitely stop in there. Yeah. I was at a bulk store recently and I saw the most giant tub of hemp seeds I've ever seen in really? my life. It was just, you could wow. swim in it. It was like a health food paradise. Bulk farm's getting really good with that stuff. Yeah. So much. Can you smell that basil? Oh, it smells so good. And little secret, I heard that a certain Lisa grew this basil herself. It's true. I have a really beautiful large garden in my backyard. Yes, and it's, I can't even keep my aloe plants alive. <laughs> it's my go-to, and you know what? Over the years, I've kind of figured out what it wants and where when's the best time to water them, and so I'm getting really, really good at that. Amazing. Um, thanks to my father-in-law, I have to say. <laughs> so we are making these healthy, yes. portable breakfast cups. If you have questions, keep sending them in. Please. Thanks for your questions and comments. If you just want to send praise our way and tell us how great we are, that's good too. We like that. We all need positive affirmation, <laughs> right? Okay, so that's it. This one is done. 
So here you go. You have three different egg, healthy egg breakfast muffin recipes right here for you. So just to recap, if you're just tuning in right now, we have kale spinach, which includes some mushrooms and shallots. And then we have broccoli cheddar. So it's nutritional yeast and broccoli. And uh, what else do we put in here? Yellow onion, sweet mm -hmm. yellow onion. Also, I've made this with green onion and it's also really good. And then here we have the Italian pomodoro and it's um, tomatoes. Say pomodoro again. Pomodoro. Ooh, that sounds like that? good. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> tomatoes, basil, and quinoa. So here's the three ones. So easy, done. You're going to grab your muffin tin. Muffin tin. There we go. So with our muffin tins, I'll just place these outside mm -hmm. here. Okay, with our muffin tins, so you can tell I use mine a lot. They're kind of getting well loved. Well loved. Good. I like to get uh, a piece of kitchen paper and coconut oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use ghee, you mm -hmm. can use avocado oil. Just make sure that you're coating it very, very well. They do now sell coconut and avocado sprays. Ooh. And I find that's really good when you're baking with you know, a loaf pan or something like that. But when it comes to muffin tins, I don't find it's the most effective because when you're spraying, it's only getting on a little bit of the bottom of the muffin tin, so everywhere else sticks. Or you'd have to use so much or spray, you'd have to right? Be like, yeah, <laughs> kind of, kind of a waste. So basically, the whole, the whole jar or yeah. whatever of it. So I find this way the best. So you kind of dip your towel into the coconut oil or the ghee, and you spread all the see, see how juicy. I love get, this like, right so there. much because I love coconut oil and I like the taste. Yes. But there are also coconut oils you can get now that don't, don't have taste. a very strong coconutty yes, taste. You're right. So it's just a healthier saturated fat. Yep. They have, uh, I believe it's called a high smoke point. This is where the nutritionist it, will have to it correct is high me. Smoke yeah. point. Well, coconut so oil does have a high smoke point. Yeah, so it's sure. fine to get really hot. It's not gonna get unstable like some other oils yeah. might. Yeah, so if you're sauteing, you definitely wanna do uh, a coconut oil or an avocado oil mm -hmm. or a grapeseed oil. You definitely wanna choose those oils because they do have a high smoke point. So um, you're putting like a fair amount of oil yes. into these. And the reason being is if you don't, they stick. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, they do. <laughs> from experience. From, from, from experience. She's been there and yeah. can tell you. So when you are removing these from the tins, you're just going to get a spatula if you have just like a nice thin one. Mm -hmm. And you're slowly going, just like you would muffins, slowly going around the edges and lifting. Okay? Cool. If you find that yours do stick, next time use a bit more coconut oil or whatever you're using, avocado or butter or whatever it is. Yeah. So the last egg alternative that I'm gonna talk about today yeah. is something I discovered fairly recently and I am obsessed with and it is chickpea flour. So oh my gosh. I love yes. chickpeas, oh please. I love chickpeas so much. Hummus, yes. we all eat it yes. all the time. It's the best. But chickpea flour is this amazing, amazing way to eat chickpeas. So yes. basically you add water to your chickpea flour and then it turns egg-like. It's like magic. So you can make omelets, you can make scrambles. Yep. It is so cool. You can use it to make very thin crepes. Uh, you can make it to make chickpea fries. That's what I do. Oh, mm. yum, yum, yum. Like, yes. so good. Uh, it's versatile. Got, yeah, it's really yes. versatile. It definitely has more of a savory taste. Yes. So I will usually do something like this, chop up a lot of vegetables, add it, mix it up as a blend. And it is one of my favorite ways oh, to, yes. you know, have an omelet as a vegan. It's a great idea. Yeah. So here I'm, for the sake of the camera, I am going to um, do it by row. But if I was doing this at home, I would use the entire egg mixture of each one for the 12 muffins. So each one makes 12 egg muffins. Okay. Okay. So you could do three whole pans, Definitely. make a day of it. And like and you said, it. then freeze a bunch. It's also yes. a really good idea, I think, if you are making make-ahead meals for breakfast, yep. to do a few different styles so you have that versatility and you don't get sick of it really fast. Absolutely, because you don't want to be eating the same breakfast all the time, yeah. especially, but this will provide variety for you and your family, right? Totally. I think that's a, a problem sometimes we run into trying to eat healthy is we get really gung-ho and we'll prep a bunch of something and then after the fifth day of eating a quinoa bowl in a row, 
you're starting to get a little bored of it. So it's nice to keep it more dynamic. Definitely, and guys, not to go into too much detail, but we don't want to be consuming the same things every single day on a daily basis, week after week, because we can also create an intolerance to that food oh. when we're eating it regularly. So we- That's a nightmare to eat something you like so much that you make yourself intolerant Exa to it. Exactly, so Oof. we need variety, which makes things more confusing. This is why we need some stuff that's fast like this, okay? Totally. So we're almost done here. We're almost done. Send in your questions, comments. Yes. Do you wanna know where to buy ingredients? Ask us about that. We have good answers, apparently. <laughs> okay, so. So this one here is, you, you, ha you have to make sure you get the egg from the bottom yeah, to it's make sure thicker, there's enough, huh? it's much thicker. So that's why I was saying this one requires a little bit more egg in the sense that the kale and the spinach does soak it up. Beauty. So how are these looking? What are you guys thinking? Tell what do you us. Guys think? Do, do. Is this something you feel like you could do that's simple and you could do in advance and freeze it? And this is something you and your children could definitely see yourselves eating. Please let us know. We need your feedback. Yeah, absolutely. And for our future Real Food Lives, we also want to know what you guys are most interested in. Yes. Is this sort of thing that's like a take ahead, prep ahead thing useful to you? Do you want to know more about snacks? We've done some snack stuff already. Yes. Let us know what you want. So here they are. Our healthy, da, da, da. easy, simple. I feel like we need a hero muffin. shot of this. Yeah. yeah. Let's hold this pretty thing up. <laughs> So we're gonna pop these in the oven, 375, for about 20 or 25 minutes. Remember, at the 20 minute mark, you wanna check your oven, because everybody's oven is so different, if you have an electric to a gas, um, but around 20 to 25 minutes, um, and let them cool down, pop them out of the muffin trays, freeze them if you're gonna freeze them once they're cooled. And how do you know they're done? When's the like, oh, these are perfect? They'll be nice and brown, just, just slightly brown at the top. Um, egg cooks really quickly, so we never have to worry either. Right. And just a reminder that all of these vegetables here are raw, so you didn't have to pre-cook. The only thing I pre-cooked in advance is quinoa, which is another great alternative for you to do in a batch. Because totally. you can add those to anything, make a quinoa salad. It's all about variety. And quinoa right. also freezes pretty well. So. Quinoa freezes very well. And you can make a quinoa porridge in the morning, put them yeah. in a mason jar. So, I love quinoa. Now it's time for a little bit of Facebook Live magic. Yes. Ta-da! Here we go, guys. I feel like we need a fake clock that just did a 20 minute. And here they are, <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> so Beep. here we have our kale and spinach um, muffins. And then down the center are the broccoli and nutritional yeast, so mm -hmm. cheddar. And then the last ones are the pomodoro. So here we go, three, um, three different types for you right here. We hope you are super excited as much as we are. <laughs> Yeah, to totally. Eat these. Totally. <laughs> to eat these. Um, so how, how portable they are. So talk about storage and portability. Sure. Before we wrap things up. Yeah. So in terms of storage, you always want to, whether you're putting it in the fridge or in the freezer, it's an airtight concealer, uh, airtight sorry, concealer, container. container. <laughs> and you want to make sure that, um, that you're putting an expiry date on them so you know, especially if it's going in the freezer, our lives are Smart. so busy, we are like, what month did we put those in? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you wanna make sure you label it properly. And then in the fridge, I probably won't last more than a couple of days, okay? Okay, awesome. Yeah. So easy to make ahead. Really easy. I am. I think I am going to challenge myself this week to try to make a vegan version of this. I, on, and I will be watching. So that. I'm really excited yes. to try and do a, a little bit of experimenting with yes. it. Yes. Uh, and you'll be able to find that on my Instagram yes. at Plant Based Christy. Uh, check it out. I will definitely sure. be asking Lisa for lots of advice. For sure. For yeah. sure. Anytime. And so, guys, remember: all you need is a napkin, and you can take them to go. If this is something that you want to bring to work as you're sitting down checking your morning emails, throw them in a container and bring them with you and mm -hmm. you can enjoy them at your desk and know that, okay, totally. I had fueled, I got fueled, I feel good, I feel healthy and I feel energized and that's it. Totally. Super so good. simple. Thank you guys so much for tuning Thanks in for today. Us. We had such a great time. I am Plant Based Christy. And I'm Lisa Manzo. And we want you to leave your comments, yes. leave your questions, even after the live stream is done. If you're watching this at a later time in the yes. future, our team will get back to you with all of the answers to your questions or your comments. Let us know what you wanna see more of in the future. Definitely. Check out all our past videos. You can yes. check out here on Facebook or on YouTube and check out our other show, uh, which is Real Talk on Tuesdays at seven. Definitely.
you guys. And you know what? I am so enjoying the pictures that you guys are posting after we've made totally. our, our meals and tagging us. Continue doing this. I can be found at the Lisa Manzo. Mm -hmm. At Plant Based Christy. Tag us. We yeah. get so excited and we will respond uh, based on you making our great recipes here. Okay? We will not stop responding. No. So <laughs> keep doing that, guys. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. Mm -mm -mm. Watching. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe below. To watch previous shows, click here. And to watch all of our other videos, including our other show, Real Talk, click right over here. We'll see you next time. <laughs>